In this video, I'll be comparing Google Opal and N8N, two very different tools for automation and workflow building. One is brand new from Google Labs, designed to let anyone create AI-powered mini-apps by simply describing what you want. The other, N8N, is an open-source powerhouse trusted by developers for building complex, production-ready automations. So which one should you use? Make sure to watch until the end, because in this video I'll break down what they do who they are for, their standout features, and the exact situations where each one shines. So first I'll go over what they do and who they are for. So let's start with Google Opal. You can think of it as an experimental playground for automation. You type something in plain English like send me a daily digest of trending AI news and the Opal actually builds the workflow for you. No coding, no setup, just describe what you want and you get a working mini app. It's aimed at beginners, creatives, and anyone curious about AI-powered automations without diving into code. Now, N8N takes a very different approach. It's an open-source automation platform where you can connect hundreds of apps and APIs, design branching logic, and even host it yourself for full control. It's built for developers, technical teams, and power users who want serious, customizable workflows, not just quick prototypes. So now I'll go over their core features and what you actually get with both of them. So Opal gives you natural language app building, you just describe what you want, then it gives you visual workflows you can tweak step by step, you get AI models like Gemini built right in, a gallery of templates you can remix, and super easy sharing you can just send a link and others can run your mini app. On the other hand, N8N gives you a massive set of integrations across APIs, SaaS apps, and webhooks. It also gives you advanced logic like conditionals, error handling, and variables. You get options for self-hosting if privacy or compliance matters. You get the ability to run workflows at scale for serious production use, and scripting for when drag and drop isn't enough. Now in terms of the experience and workflow, with Opal, the workflow is effortless, it feels more like talking to ChatGPT than setting up an automation platform. So it's fun, it's fast, and it's fantastic for experimenting. Now the trade-off, you will quickly run into limits if you need more than what Google gives you out of the box. With N8N, it's the opposite. There is a learning curve and you will need some technical comfort, and setting it up can take longer. But in return, you get almost limitless flexibility. For example, if you want to connect your CRM, your database, and your AI model into a single pipeline that runs at scale, N8N can handle that. So overall, which one may be best for you? First, I would go with Google Opal if you want to test AI app ideas quickly, if you are not technical and just want something simple and visual, or if you already use Google's ecosystem and want free experimental tools. Then I would go with N8N if you need automation that scales across multiple apps and services, if you care about privacy, control, or self-hosting, or if you are building workflows that need to run in production, not just as a demo. So in short, Opal is like sketching ideas on a whiteboard, fast and creative, and N8N is like architecting a building, harder upfront but solid and reliable for the long run. So that concludes this comparison of Google Opal versus N8N. If this comparison helped you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.